Another day is here. Right, Diesel? Another day is here. Today, we're just sitting around in Kelowna, British Columbia, waiting for a meeting this evening. From here, we're headed up to Valmont, British Columbia tomorrow. Today is a day of Duck Dynasty and a whole lot of nothing. Like I was saying, we're not moving anywhere today, so we're gonna be sitting right here. We're at the Petro Pass, or Petro Canada truck stop in uh, Kelowna, just north of town. All right, Daisy, we're just gonna sit around here and we'll let you go run around outside. Look at this nice parking lot out there, eh? Very nice. Bet you can't wait to go run, hey, eh, Diesel? Oh yeah, we're gonna let him run around today, stretch his legs, exercise a bit, get his heart pumping a bit. Keep the old ticker in shape, right Diesel? Maybe I'll go for a run too. Emphasis on the maybe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be watching some Duck Dynasty. I got, uh, I'm on season three right now. Those are all the ladies of Duck Dynasty. Let's see if I know who they are. That's Kay and Sadie and Jason's wife <laughs> and that's Willie's wife and that's their younger brother's wife <laughs> no I don't know their names but, uh, anyways yeah I love Duck Dynasty I'm sort of addicted to watching them right now so it's a beautiful day outside I can show you around out here beautiful sunny day Mountains all around us out there. As you can see, we're at the Petro Pass. Like I was saying, I wasn't lying. And uh, I wouldn't be cleaning the truck. I've already vacuumed it out on the floor here. These Peterbilts are so tiny and so cramped that it's hard to even clean because there's no room to kneel down anywhere and clean, you know? So one day I'll have a bigger truck. Somebody's doing donuts out here. Oh, we missed it. Dang it. <laughs> Somebody has a Nissan Skyline He's doing donuts in the parking lot here. Why not, eh? So yeah, Diesel, today's gonna be an exciting day. Maybe we'll have a nap. Very exciting. So, not my regular content today, guys, but tomorrow we're driving six hours north to Valmont. And that should be some really good scenery for you. But today we're going to hang around here, clean up, and uh, play some fetch, go for a run, take a nap, do some talking. All right, so we had a good nap. That was a good nap. And now, what's the time, Diesel? Is it time to go outside? Huh? I'm going to run around? Yeah, I'm going to go freestyle without a leash. Are you going to get me in trouble if I don't put you on a leash? Huh? Huh? Or are you going to be good? Running's good for you. So, I'm going to take Diesel out. I'm waiting for uh, uh, Dylan. Remember Dylan, uh, I gave the shirt to him. He sent me a picture of himself wearing it, that he got it. And I promised him when he got it that uh, I would uh, have a Skype conversation with him see how he's doing and whatnot so I'm waiting for that to happen today and I'm also waiting for a contact for uh, this load that I'm pulling to call me he might want to meet me in Kelowna tonight that's what I've been waiting here for and if he doesn't want to meet me I'm gonna go to Kamloops Flying J because they got a real truck stop there with Flying J showers and whatnot all right come on diesel give her good boy stay here come here <laughs> a little slippery. Looks like we're the only ones here. That's good. If anyone else comes in the lot, I'll have to go catch them. But, oh, I'm tired. There's the unit. We've just been sitting here. All right, Diesel, don't spend your whole time sniffing. Sometimes I let him loose, and all he does is sit in one spot and sniff everything. He doesn't even run. Diesel. I'm just gonna pee on every single post you can find first. Mine, mine, mine. Hey, Diesel. Hey, 
Found the grass. Did you want to go back in the truck already? We just got out here. <sighs> Do some running, buddy. Get your heart pumping. <sighs> get, 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 get. It's slippery. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> that all you got? <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> That's what I wanted. Now he's running. <laughs> he's going straight for me. I wish we had some grass. You coming? Oh, we found the grass. <laughs> give her, give her, give her, give her, give her! <laughs> the boy. Keep running, buddy. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. <laughs> well, we're going to Cam Loops. Turn right on 97. I hate sitting still, so I'm going to Cam Loops. 144 kilometers away. That's uh. 75 miles and they got a nice flying J there we can have showers and coffee in the morning there's nothing here it was just a parking lot so I'm gonna head out there see a little bit of scenery today on the way I guess and hopefully find a Timmy soon I haven't had a coffee today yet I'm going absolutely nuts you know what I'm doing on my next check I'm gonna go buy one of the little one cup Keurig machines and I'm gonna have Timmy's everywhere I go. Decisions been made. Budgets have been adjusted. Not that it's gonna break the budget. <laughs> Should have had one a long time ago already. I just keep forgetting whenever I'm at Walmart, right? Anyway, off we go. Right, Diesel? Guess we get to drive some today. Catch some of the views yet before the sun goes down. Just left Kelowna, so we're just north going on uh, 97, the BC Highway 97. stay in Kelowna at that Petro Canada. Like I said, there's nothing there. It's just a parking lot. They have the store, but it's closed on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> what? And the big sign there says maximum four hours parking. I didn't know if they took that seriously or not. See your truck stop and you're saying a maximum four hours or something? We have to stop for at least eight hours here in Canada to reset our, our days. Whatever. Some people just don't understand trucks. So why do you own a truck stop if you don't know anything about trucking? Right? Oh well. Alright. Vernon, British Columbia. This is uh, downtown. You gotta go through here to get anywhere. No freeways. This is Canada, don't forget. Why would we build a freeway? We really need to find a Timmy's. Really, really need to find a Timmy's. Not that we could stop anywhere here. Look at all the lights, eh, Diesel? It's like Christmas time. You should see Vegas. That's like Christmas every day. I haven't been to Vegas in years. Wouldn't mind going there again. For some reason, I don't seem to ever get any loads going to the southwest in the states. It's kind of disappointing. I'd like to go there. 
go to California again. I think if I ever took a vacation on my own, like a, like a holiday, I'd go to California because I go everywhere else in the truck, but I never go to California. So maybe next winter or sometime. Uh, I'm planning on getting a, a trailer for my bike that I can pull behind my car. Maybe we'll uh, head on down to California for a couple of week vacation. Get away from the cold next year. Alright. Every week we spend in California is a week we don't have to risk freezing up out here. Well, there's a Timmy's right on the right. Of course we can't park a truck here anywhere. Of course. Because who thinks about the truckers, right, Diesel? No one cares about the truckers. Well, I heard somewhere sometime that you gotta confess your sins to one another so you may be forgiven. I've sinned. I have sinned against Tim Hortons in Canada, and I am sorry. By the time I found somewhere to park, Tim Hortons is way too far down the road. And I was gonna give her, I was gonna go for it. I was like, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna bundle up, we're gonna go. And I look across the street and there's Starbucks staring at me. I'm like, no, I can't do it, nope. And before I knew it, I was walking out of there with a coffee in my hand that said Starbucks. What is this world coming to? I don't even know how to order a coffee in there. I'm walking in there, I'm like, I'd like a coffee. <laughs> Just a regular coffee. Oh, there's so many different names for everything in there. The person before me ordered a coffee that had like 10 names. It's like a whole sentence just to say what drink she wanted. I felt very simple. I just like a coffee. But yeah, not too happy about it, but I need a coffee bad. And uh, what can you say? Got another 100 kilometers to go, so we better suck it up. Hit the road. Okay, here we are, Flying J, Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. I came here, like I said, because they actually have showers and washrooms here. It's like a regular Flying J. They got Wi-Fi, which is important to me. I just need to find a parking spot that's close to the building so I get a good Wi-Fi signal. I don't know what Atlas is doing here, but... Oh, he's going to take the spot that I wanted. Of course he is! Of course he is! Is this Trucker Josh? Ah, oh, take a spot. I will go around the back. What kind of scale do they got here? They got, they got like a private scale. They don't have a cat scale. That's strange. Look at all this glorious paved parking, eh? We're right on the Trans-Canada. Or, uh, you can relate that to an interstate. When I say Trans-Canada, it's the same thing as an interstate, except it's not a freeway. But whatever. I don't know where to park. I want to be close to the building. Aha, I think I'm going to back up against these guys here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Then I'll be very close to the building and good Wi-Fi signal. All right, so we're just sitting here in Kamloops. And like I said before, we got a very special guest on Skype, Mr. Dylan. <laughs> uh, he's the one I sent the shirt to that used to always be hanging in the corner over there. I only had one and uh, so oh and he's got it right there too. He sent me a picture on my Facebook. <laughs> he's gonna put it on and uh, yeah he sent me a video message that uh, really meant a lot to me so I sent him off that uh, that shirt. And he's got it there now. And there it is. That's so interesting how mail works like that, eh? I, can, I sent that away from Canada and now it's sitting there in Utah on him. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Tomorrow we're going to drive a couple hours north yet into Valemont. And I guess we'll see what kind of adventures we can find ourselves in tomorrow. I'll see you then, 6 a.m. Central Time. Right, Diesel? How oh, about a. Uh, a goodbye for everybody. Anything? How about you blink? Anything?
nothing? <laughs>